submission ready here with, well, wait a minute, I don't know if I should say the name because, wait a minute, who is this fighter? What it, it's Ty Tuivasa, look at that, at the submission radio kitchen ahead of UFC 243 at Marvel Stadium here in Melbourne. Now, Ty, we see the sign is officially yours now. Give us a little bit of a preview of where it's going. What's the sign journey going to be in Melbourne for the rest of the day? Uh, it's going to be in a booth and it's one of the strip clubs. Oh. <laughs> but, uh, nah. There's some nah. great strip clubs just around the corner on King Street, Ty. Oh, We're doing tours, just letting you know. <laughs> Familiar, are we? Well, Submission Radio is actually a dominatrix show. We do the MMA stuff on the side, so. Well, I'm all into that, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's right down my alley. We have to talk about fights, obviously. You're going to be here at a capacity crowd, but what have been some of the adjustments that you've made since your last couple of fights so that things go your way this weekend? Strength and conditioning. <laughs> I, I've been lifting some weights and uh, just getting my body right. Uh, first time. I uh, know. Oh, <laughs> Shit professional. Uh, <laughs> But, you know, a uh, couple losses and uh, I've been just, been just been focusing on myself, man. Uh, I don't really care about my opponents. We're going we're gonna to find out what we're doing. Uh, yeah, just been working on my ground, working on my strength and conditioning. My, I feel strong, I feel fit. I was going to say, like, when you entered the UFC, and I think everybody loves you straight away, right? From the shoey, the brutal knockouts, not just from Australia, but all over the world. And I feel like after the last couple of fights, people are wondering, you know, like, what, what is the ceiling on Tai Tuivasa? Do you, do you feel that kind of pressure going into this fight? Ah, uh, social media, man. Uh, you go on these profiles that are saying stuff, uh, I haven't even had a root in fucking their whole life, let alone a fight. So, um, it is what it is. I've lost two, uh, two previous champions of, of, of two world champions um, and two very experienced fighters man it is what it is you know they got their hand raised I didn't that's it that's all all I can do is focus on myself and uh, and better myself well remember we spoke to your UFC debut and it was doesn't seem like it was that long ago but you know here we are now at a stadium in Melbourne and I'm guessing like you were sitting around on the sidelines for a while healing up with your knee has this UFC journey sort of lived up to what you thought it would be like? Or what are some of the things that stand out to you that were a little bit different than what you expected? Apart uh, from obviously the ups and downs of the fights. Definitely happened uh, quick. And I think that's why a lot of people have an opinion. Because, uh, you know, the quicker you go up, the, 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 the more people notice you, you know. And uh, I'm, like I said... It is what it is, and I, I'm grateful for all the opportunities the UFC has gave me, and uh, I think I've done all right. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, people in Melbourne are going to be going crazy when you walk out of this capacity stadium, yeah, but yeah. also Justin Taffer also making his UFC debut, mm. now on the main card as well, so fighting before you. I mean, what does it mean for you to see a friend like him? Not That's only my brother, yeah. man. That's my brother, man. Um, you know, that's, that's, we are a team, and, and to, it's like anything. You, you see someone you love, uh, you know, reach their goal and, and to, to, you know, to, to represent his family and represent our team on the world stage is, is the pinnacle, is, is the top. This is going to be a milestone event, obviously, for Australian combat sports history. And sort of when you look at the history, you know, David Tua is a massive legend and he's someone who called you recently. Aussies, New Zealanders all know David Tua for all the things he's accomplished. What did that mean to you to get a phone call from him and what did that sort of do for you? I was, it's very uplifting. Uh, lifted my spirits. Uh, you know, to get a call from a god in in some of our eyes, uh, David Tua is, <laughs> is, is, is you know, is no doubt, and probably most Samoans would say the best boxer of all time. But um, that, that, yeah, I was. I felt like a little kid. You know what I mean? Like fuck, I was <laughs> felt like a little <laughs> like my crush rang me or something. You know, but. Uh, just to get that and to, to get that recognition of, off of uh, someone you'd watch growing up and you'd think, man, this guy's never going to fucking know me. You know what I mean? To, to one day get a call from someone like that is uh, very uplifting and, 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 and good for the soul. It's crazy because you might be that guy one day, someone watching this interview now, and you might be calling them sometime in the future. That's li that life is funny, man. Life is funny. And you work hard, you can... You can, you can do whatever. It's a funny thing. 
I saw on Instagram that you said that, you know, when you were going into fights, sometimes I think before the UFC, before professional, you would picture sort of being David Tua, right? And I think a lot of Samoans did. Did you ever have a moment like that when you went to like a street fight and you were like, my brothers. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah? You watch like you watch uh, highlights and shit, and then you just do yourself up and you think you you can fight. But that's when you were young. Uh, you would always try and. Uh, you, you always want to be the best. You always want to be David Tua. You would always get in fight with your cousins and that, you know, trying to go, oh, I'm David, I'm doing but What about on the streets? Did that did that ever happen to sort of kind of pump you? You've never told us a street fight story, man. Which one? I, just any. You've we never, you've never, any. I feel like there's boatloads. And you've, yeah. in all that interviews, you've never told us one. You've got to give us at least one, one fun one, one juicy one. Well, they go shorter than my, my actual fights. So <laughs> they're not much really to talk about. But, uh, they're fun. I love them. I'm not anymore. I'm, I'm good. Back in the day. Boy, back, yeah. back in the day, right? The old type. I'm a good boy now. Yeah. What, what, what used to happen, like, to sort of lead to a street fight back, back, back in the day? Man, I can't yeah. write a book about it, man. So it's, 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 it's all out yeah, there. Where I'm from, it could be a look. You can look at someone, and uh, it is what it is, you know. And uh, yeah, growing up where, we, where I've grown up, it's. Fighting becomes your your popularity. You uh, the better you are at fighting, the more respect you get, and uh, the more love you get shown, and the more people that don't fuck with you. Is it is it kind of hard now? Now that you're a bit of a celebrity in the area, going through, I'm guessing a lot of guys would man, sort of look no towards you man. and stuff. I ain't no celebrity, man. I still live in the hood. I still live in the area. I still got 14 brothers and sisters. I still live there, man. It, it, it's 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 still real. I wake up. I try to do the best I can for my community and 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 whatnot. But I'm just a normal guy, just like everyone else, just having a crack. Just well, I was gonna say, obviously a big fight <laughs> happening in Melbourne in this in this capacity stadium, and we've got to talk about it for a little bit. What did you see in your opponent's eyes when you went up on stage there just before the yeah, media nice day? Yeah, nice blue eyes. Yeah. yeah. Nice blue eyes. Yeah. Would you think they'll be distracting during the fight? Or? Ah, got a little bit, a little bit hard, but. Uh, <laughs> ah. did, I mean, did you look, apart from the wonderful eyes, did you get to see any tape on him? Is it more of a thing where you just focus on yourself? Man, it's, going in it's here? It like, I can look at him now, I can look at him tomorrow. It's looking is looking when we get in there, and you know, I've got a job to do, and uh, yeah, I, I'm not really all about, I'm, I'm not into arguing with uh, my opponents or, you know, like fucking titties. Like, oh, that's not really my thing. But, um, you know, I, sh I show respect and I, I got a lot of respect for all my opponents, but um, I've got a job to do and if that involves breaking his jaw, that's, what, that's what's involved, you know, so. I guess uh, the Justin Willis thing, just quickly, I mean, you mentioned you didn't want to sort of put, put his name out there and give him a fight in the UFC, but I feel like a lot of fans here in Melbourne would have loved to oh, see you walk out here in of front course. of a, a, a capacity stadium of and, and, and um, set I, the scene there. Is a part of you sort of disappointed that he didn't end up of course I'm, I'm coming down to Melbourne? I'm, I'm disappointed, but uh, the guy's a dickhead. Like, the company don't want him. <laughs> that's not up to me. I don't have, uh, that's not my fucking job, you know what I mean? But uh, to be a coward and uh, come out after I've been calling him out for a year, and then say now he wants to fight once he's set. Come on now. That's like that's like starting to fight when the police rock up. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's a dog act. Well, the funny thing was Curtis Blades said that one of the things that he likes to do is DM you, and you guys DM back and forth about how much Justin annoys us. Are these DMs legit? Are they, has Curtis ever sort of written to you and said, man, that Justin? Uh, not, not like a full convo. I think we've heard like, mm. yeah, he's a dickhead. But uh, you know, even Curtis Blades, uh, you know, he's a good guy, and we've had some words in the past as well. But, but Justin's kind of bringing you guys together. I feel like I, he... I think, yeah. But it's man, good people can real can pick out a dickhead. Like it's not fucking hard. Like mm. if we all stood here and there was a dickhead in the room, we could all go, that kind's a dickhead. He's the dickhead. He's a fuckwit. And if I see him, we'll sort it. In or out of the UFC. I don't give a fuck. It was a hilarious saga where he sort of sent us screenshots with, with, with the DMs. Here we go. This is, well, this is... That the, said settle it. Radio. Set, look oh, at this okay. exclusive. Submission radio. You, you just want to see. Okay. Now you tell me who hasn't sent. 
You tell me. Oh, I'm well, not going to show. No, I'm not. A, I'm not. But you tell me who hasn't sent him. Can we read? Can we read a couple of just just for the fat bitch, fat titty bitch, shit cunt, big titty fuck, fat flop. There's a lot of good variations here. You fat dog. <laughs> the creativity is through the roof. I'll fuck, I'll fuck, fuck you. <laughs> See, and then and then he puts up a lie. Like, come on, who's playing who? You can see this. I feel sorry for oh, you. you. When, was the last, when was the last one sent? All the way back in 5th, 5th of March. March. That's like And when, when, when was the last one? we got to let you go because you have a bus to catch. 13th of August, 11, 12 a.m. Well, there you go. Hey, right now, fat dog. <laughs> you, did, you just sent it there. There you go, live on Submission Radio. I mean, all that aside. See, who's lying and who ain't? We found out the truth. Just quickly, as we let you go... Main event prediction for Rob versus Israel. We're getting everybody's. We have to get yours as well. Man, good to go with the Aussie. Uh, both brothers, both good friends. Um, it's that rivalry. Uh, it's, you know, Wallabies, All Blacks type of thing. Both good friends. Got to go with the Aussie. Mm, That's, right. I gotta, you got to draw the scene. You got to draw the line in the scene. Shoeys at the end of the day, I feel like, from yeah, both we, guys. We're all brothers, Everybody's we're all brothers at the end of the day. And at the end of the day, the, the belt's going to be on this side of the world. UFC 243. Cass, you got... I was going to say, we'll let you catch that bus. It's, it's, it's about the to The bus take is off. on its way. That's tied to of us at UFC 243 this Sunday at Marvel Stadium. The man of the hour. Exactly. All the best, Ty. And we look forward to seeing that sign around the city.